welcome back to the next episode, Ape Escape. We hit the box. Welcome to the ta welcome to the welcome to the time station. I'm sitting here to help you with your mission. This room is a vault room in front of you. The round switch will take you to the stage select area. Behind you, the red switch will take you to the load save data area. Be sure to read all mailbox messages and learn from them. No. The reason why all mailboxes suck. The little token things basically you unlock a mini game when you get 10, 20, and 40. Um, Spectre tokens. No, sorry, there we are in the prehistoric era. Raining Lake. This is quite a fun level. Um, if you. Oh, like, a new gadget yeah, is completed! Okay, fine. This is a water net that shoots a net underwater. I will send these over. Try them out in your training space. If you don't clear the training, you cannot advance to the next stage. Well, good luck. Notice how he keeps speaking afterwards. That's the um, flaws of the English translation. They didn't fill the whole space up. And they didn't edit it out either, but... Look what I've got! A new gadget! Check it out! This is the water net. Use it when you're underwater. I equipped it with an oxygen meter. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. You, what can you say about a water net? It's a net that shoots water underwater. Try using it underwater. You'll have some fun underwater. You catch monkeys underwater. But you already knew that because it's obvious in the name. But you know what I mean. You can't say it anyway. Um, press R3, which is... Many people are still not sure about the R3 and L3 buttons. Though when you press the... Um, the control stick all the way down like that, rather crude image. Um, you just push it down, you, get, you push L, the left one down, you get L3, and blah blah blah, that makes you dive. Now to speed up, you press L, R1, or R1, R1, and that's it basically. There's something else which makes you zoom, but I can't remember how, what it was. Oh yeah, it's, um, it's also R1, which you, sorry, R1 and R2 will also do it. Press the blah blah blah, they just tell you the stuff which you already know, need to know. Any, any graphical glitches you see is purely because of the PS1, so don't go, yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's that easy to catch. I missed the first time because I wasn't all aligned up and not. But that's this, basically. You have to do the training stages. You have to. There's nothing you can do about it. But this part of the game is filled with a lot of mini, mini game goodness. Here's the exit. So yeah, basically it tells you you can swim faster, but... For a denizen of this game, I can, I'm gonna blitz through it. I did it in three days one time, and that was quite a lot. You know, I didn't remember things, and I did it recently. So yeah, you can only catch a certain amount of monkeys, which bring back the replay value. Um, but I'm not gonna explain that now. Oh, that's long afterwards. Okay. Let's go. So now just go through the controls. The left, uh, sorry, the right analog stick is like hit, and you can just move it around and stuff. You, you just use it to throw it to hit. The other one is the, the right is control stick square, but also just sort of brings on any one of your weapons. L1 is target chase. L1 and L2 are camera modes. R1 and all that stuff, which is jump. So, and R L3 is to crouch. And so L3 is to crouch and hold that um, L R3. And you do play dead, which is when a monkey can't see you. So I'm just going to catch this one before he does the jump. Oh no, you don't. Damn. I've once been able to catch him before he does that by crawling. But yeah, he will also start this will these ones will also start to attack. Here we have quite an interesting name. His name is BC, which stands for Before Christ as opposed to Anno Domini, which is AD and means in the year of our Lord. Living in BC, he's afraid of dinosaurs. Also know the colour of his shorts. In this one they're yellow, but I'll go into the shorts colour in the later episode. Which is not nice considering they actually do hurt. They pack in quite a bunch. You can also grab hole, but that was obvious that most games shouldn't grab hole. Tom Tom is a slang word for stomach, which is used when you talk about babies, coincidentally. Um, there's really not much to say about him, he's wearing yellow, he's a very basic monkey, um, and he's having stomach problems. Yes, we can make a joke about what he ate here, but I'm not going to because that's just poor, because he's young and energetic. And stuff. Ah, uh, sorry. It's just he getting paranoid about the bloody microphone. Anyway, we'll go catch the next monkey now. So the next monkey is there are two next next monkeys and one's located in the ground. But here's another spectre coin. Boink. There are three spectre coins in every no, there are varying spectre coins in every level. You also have an energy supply. If for some reason you can't catch them like that. 
Here we have our first male-female crossover. It's called Mermaid, and yes, it is a he. They're all he's. He loves fish, obviously, because mermaids swim alongside fish. Therefore, they must love them. Otherwise, they're carnivals. Which carnival? No, carnivores. Sorry, yes, they're carnivores. Um, that's what you, cannibals. Cannibals. That's what you can say about this monkey, really. Boo. There we go. The next one. That actually looks like a cave. It's just a giant, almost rock. Jump up, jump up, jump up. There we go. So the next monkey is easy to find, easy to find, easy to find. You just have to jump up here and you find him. Um, just... Yeah, I'm really out of touch actually. I should have played this beforehand. But now I would have got bored of it if I'd done that. Okay, this should only take a month to complete. Maybe two months. A nice short game. A short game which I can really dig my teeth into. Boom! And that's it. Here we have Champ, who is a winner, evidently. But he lost against me. Haha. -ha. Anyway. If an animal wins the show, it's said to be a champ, and that's the name given to them. Well done! Yay! Happiness! You're good! But I'm better, no way. Star Fox quote gone wrong. Didn't quite work. Okay. So that's that bit done. And we've got more time, so let's go do some more levels. Yes, he does that. He goes, Bruh! not fuck, which many people know think he says. Why well, would they put that in a kid's game? It went, Bruh! fuck. It wouldn't make any sense, would it? Okay. The prehistoric era. Dimes. Valley. We need to capture four monkeys. Let's do this. Let's so, go. there are quite a few monkeys here which are uncatchable, so I'm not going to go to those areas now. You'll just have to play the game yourself and work it out. Most PCs can probably handle the emulator that which plays this game. I know my game my, um, can handle it, even where it's severe smoothing and, you know, where it basically makes make the textures look a lot nicer. But let's face it, the text in this game look awful. But then it was a fairly new game. Okay, so first, you don't want to jump across there, because that was a mistake that I made being in the Catch this guy, he throws rocks at you. Here we have Chimpo. Happy here is because he's slow and content. That's the only real meaning behind it. There's no real link between his name and his little description. Rocks are nice! And that means you can jump across there without doing the fall down. I did the retarded thing and I can't believe I did that. The wall was in the way. That's my excuse and defense. But I don't believe that. I seriously, I've never done that in my life before and I do it on camera. I did a brilliant run before. A seriously brilliant run and I test run of this game. And you know, you know, you know, it's, you know you're not going to do as well when it comes to catch that thing but also run away from Ah, this is Gymnast. He has the longest handstands. Because a Gymnast is meant to try the upper body, Gymnast is supposed to be able to do extremely long handstands, hence the name connection to that, because that's very nasty and you lose a cookie for every time you get hit. In the later games you have like three cookies, you get hurt three times, depending on how bad the hit is. It will either break, crumble, or completely destroy your cookie. Where is the lift? Aha! You can get all those if you want, you get a life after 50 or 100. You know, basic, just collectibles. They don't get you, like, you know, it's not like in Mario, you get a certain amount of coins for it. My preferred method of getting Pyrrhus is just doing that, and you get that coin as well. Pterodactyl bird thing. This guy's a pain in the ass. Bobble. Bobble, and catch. Fine. Boom. You can't catch them through, but on some occasions you actually can throw your net through bars. Apparently a Twitcher is someone who collects eggs or watches birds, so Twitcher would go with Dinosaur Egg Hunter because that's what they do. Obviously, Dinosaurs, because they're. It's weird how that works, but you can. Now, from here, though, you have a choice of two monkeys. You can go for the super easy one or go for the slightly annoying longer one. I'm going to go for the longer one because it makes it so much easier to come back. Or you could have left that monkey there so you didn't have to traverse all the way across the thing. But anyway, do that, dodge out the way, crash, they go crashing into there. Basically, you're just luring him to put his head in here. Like this, for example. Hello! See me? Now you'll see me. Now you don't, because you're stupid. You're stupid dinosaur. There we go. Crush. 
And he does that three times will um, net you the monkey. Come on! Come on, baby! Do you want me to hit your tail? You can't actually hit him off, so don't try. There we go. He'll notice it. Slam in there. And one more time will net us that monkey. Come on! Your feet don't even hurt me. Okay, right. He runs. Charge. Nope, that didn't work. I'm getting rusty at this. Okay, run, get out of here. Bump, monkey. You hear that noise? You mean a monkey's been stunned. Some monkeys, when they fall off, won't try to get back up. You see the other monkey in the corner there. This is definitely one confused monkey. He goes moo and bad, both a sheep and a cow. What a fool, imbecile. Well done! Yay, another level completed. Well, we're positively firing through these levels now. So with that, I'll say this: the end of the, the end of this episode of Ape Escape. 